so I'm now ready to start jumping him. Um, I'm going to start off with a grid. Um, this is because the day before a competition, I try not to over jump the horse. There's jump fences that are too big. Um, it's really an athletic exercise to get them using their bodies in the best way that they can. Um, this grid's going to really get them to be quick in front. I'm going to have a little bounce in the middle and then open him up over an oxer as he comes out. Um, this horse is competing at novice level, um, Bish Eventing, which is the cross country is a metre 10 and the show jumping has a couple of fences at a metre 15. Um, he sort of was training at home around intermediate level. He's done a little bit of show jumping at a higher level, so he's, he'd be a good jumper, quite an established jumper. Um, so this is quite an easy exercise for him. So now I'm ready to jump. I'm starting off with a nice small cross pole, help keep him straight and just to give him a nice easy jump to begin with. It's important that you make a really good turn, make sure he's square off the turn. Good boy. Very pleased with how he started to jump, he feels really relaxed. I think that's a lot to do with the fact that he had a really good warm up where I worked on his relaxation. So I'm just going to jump that once more in a nice soft way. So we're just changing the grid now and putting up the second element which is a little upright. Uh, this is six and a half paces away from the cross pole. Um, this is a, quite a short distance and the reason being that I'm using this distance with this horse um, is because, not because he has a short stride, he, he's got a, a, quite a good length of stride, but having a short distance really encourages the horses to sit on their hind end and be athletic. Um, it's really, really important when you're doing grids to build the grid that's appropriate for your horse. So, um, if your horse is really struggling with um, that shorter distance, it's really important that you then lengthen it to make it a little bit easier for them. Um, so I'll just start now with Barney and jump through that. Good boy. We've kept the fences really small. Um, this is just to make life nice and easy for him. So really happy with that. He's jumping in a really, really nice, relaxed way. He feels good. He feels very straight. I'm going to pop through that once more. The emphasis really with a horse like Barney is to keep everything easy so he can be really confident. Oh. Also making a little bit of a turn after your fence really helps them again to engage. I think quite a common problem is that horses are running off after they've jumped a fence and so practicing your getaway from a fence at home is something that perhaps isn't done enough and I think it's really important and can really help you at a competition. Good boy. So we've put in the second part of the bounce now. Um, the distance is on just over three paces, which again is still quite short. Um, but for a horse like Barney, who is fairly athletic and good at shortening, um, this is, is a little bit of a challenge for him, but it will hopefully help him to be more athletic and use himself correctly over a fence. Um, especially with a bounce, it's really important that you aren't overshortening your horse. So if it's struggling with a certain distance, it's really important that you then adjust the distance to be sort of the most appropriate for the horse that you're riding. Good boy. Ooh. Good boy. Um and now I'm just going to add a little bit more canter. Um, when the fences are small, it's easy just to kind of drip in, not really going anywhere. So it's quite important that you work on having a good canter. Good boy. Good boy. 
So I've now just added um, an upright to the end of the grid. This is going to progress in a minute to become an oxer. Um, I've also put the bounce up a little bit just to challenge him a little bit more. Um, the reason why we've going to put an oxer at the end of a grid, um, especially this grid, is basically we've really shortened him up, got him on his hind end um, and really using himself over the bounce and now I want to open him up and get him to really open his frame and throw away behind over an oxer as he comes out of the grid. Boy. So again, I'm picking up really good canter. Trying to now really create more of a competition type of canter. Good out of the turn. Good boy. Ooh. So Bynum just dropped a back end on one of the bounces there. Um, really isn't a problem at all and I think it's really important not to get upset or worried if a horse rubs a fence in training. If anything, it's a really, really positive thing. Hopefully he'll have learnt something from that and won't make the same mistake again. Um, I think there's quite a big trend for tuning up horses by making them have a fence, which in my opinion doesn't really work. Um, it's, it often means a horse is going to have a fence through your fault rather than his own fault and so then consequently won't actually learn to improve his jump on his own. Good boy. Excellent. Good. Okay, so we'll now add in the oxer and then um, give him a jump over that. So I've now added in the oxa. First I've had it ascending, which will really encourage him to open up his back end. Good boy. So now we're putting the front end of the oxa up um, to make it square. So now the fences are a little bit bigger and I've got a nice decent oxer coming out. Again, I'm going to make sure I've got a really, really good canter. It's got to be my main priority. Boy. Oh, good boy. So that would be the session that I would do with Barney before a competition. Um, a grid really helps him to use himself in the best possible way. This grid really is a good exercise for improving a horse's athletic ability. Um, the cross pole at the beginning is a good starter into a grid. This helps a horse to remain straight. Then to jump through a bounce really helps a horse to use itself, especially through its shoulders. It improves its technique in front and makes it quick and sharp. And having an oxer coming out of the grid at the end of the line will really help to open the horse up, use its back correctly and improve its technique behind. So I'm really looking forward to the competition tomorrow and hopefully he'll be ready. Thank you.